All right, good morning. 5.50. Monday morning. A little Monday morning drive for you folks. All right, I got a great, I got a great subject for you this morning. I do these Monday drives. I do these morning drives. I'm leaving the gym at Rockbox. And uh, headed to Nashville today to the Greatness Factory. Good morning, John Hart. And I do these morning drives for both of us, right? I do them for me and for you, Freddie Blanton. And I do them many times, uh, Jared, because there's something that triggers something in my mind. And I was thinking this morning, right in the middle of the workout, there was a guy, John Harlow, that had uh, All right, buddy, I'm thinking about you. Um, there was there was a guy in, his, in the gym this morning, man. He had such a good attitude. I, however, came in with kind of a bad attitude, right? And an attitude is a posture of the body that is represented by a physical state. What's up, Scott Jacobs? Uh, an attitude, this is the definition of attitude. It's a posture of the body represented by a physical state. That's attitude. We know pretty quickly if a person has a good attitude or a bad attitude. Uh, an airplane has attitude indicators, right? Which which basically represent, Tish, if the plane is ascending, it is plateaued or is coming down for a landing. It's why you hear me say energy is either dynamic, static, or entropic. It is either, it is either dynamic and growing, it is static and stuck, it is entropic and dying. Those are the three states of life. So how do you reverse a negative attitude? So I went to the gym this morning, right? It's Monday morning. I got up, got a decent night's sleep, but I had, you know, a little bit of a bad attitude, right? Why? It's Monday. I'm in my gym. I got to go to the gym. I got to work out hard. And man, this other dude is in there. He's got a good attitude. He's high-fiving everybody, which I thought was a little over the top, but hey, whatever. And, but man, he has such a good attitude. And here's what I found. You couldn't have a bad attitude around the dude. Like we're doing our squats and he's high-fiving people and it's like, man, what do you do? Not high-five him? His energy was greater than my energy. And because of his energy being greater than my energy, it raised my energy. So what do you do when you have a bad attitude? Number one, you need to recognize. It's four steps. Number one, when you make a mistake, when you have a bad attitude, you need to recognize you got a bad attitude. Recognize. You need to admit it publicly, man. My attitude sucks. I got a bad attitude toward this. Whether toward your wife, toward your kids. On Friday, I had a bad attitude toward my daughter. She started a little late, had a couple rounds on the way to school. I went back in the afternoon and picked her up. I said, sweetheart, had a bad attitude. Daddy had a bad attitude. I apologize. Because my attitude dictated the morning to her. Okay? Attitudes are contagious, folks. Bad attitudes are contagious. Good attitudes are contagious. So when you have a bad attitude, number one, you need to recognize it. Right, Mike Dole? Good morning. Timothy, you need to recognize it. Number two, you need to admit it. You need to say, man, I got a bad attitude about this. Attitude is a posture of the body represented by a mental state and a physical state. Recognize it, admit it. You need to learn from it. Third thing you got to do, man, is you got to learn from it. Natalie, you got to say, man, you know what? That ain't me. What I'm trying to do is have a good attitude. Attitude, posture of the body represented by a physical state. Number four, you got to move on, man. You got to move on. So when I have a bad attitude, number one, I typically need to change my state of energy. I need to listen to something upbeat and positive. I need to get around positive people. I need to I need to get away from the negative people that I've been listening to, or whatever the case may be. See, there's there's certain key things you can do when you got a bad attitude. It's like, man, I just need a little time out. So this morning I went to the gym, had a bad attitude. Dude in there's got a good attitude. Trainer's got an incredible attitude. Their their energy overcame my energy. And by the end of the day, I'm like, man, I'm glad I did this. I'm glad I got up, sucked it up fought through it, feel better, got a better mindset. Okay, this morning I was holding my son because he woke up as I was leaving. Boom. How do you have a bad attitude? Hold your son, man. You need to have a grateful attitude. So if you're out there and you're watching it this morning, you may have a bad attitude toward your co-workers. You may have a bad attitude toward the work you got to do today. You may have a bad attitude toward, what's up, Jimmy? You may have a bad attitude toward something you got, somebody you got to deal with. You may have a bad attitude toward life, man. Okay, and only you can change that attitude. There's people that live their whole lives with bad attitudes. So just remember this. Bad attitude make for hard lives. Bad attitudes make for hard lives. I was eating yesterday with my daughter because my wife was in Florida, so I had the kids, and I was eating with my daughter at lunch. And I was watching people walk in. 
uh, the restaurant with bad eye attitudes. Head down, won't look at anybody. And I was teaching my daughter, look, if you'll just get your head up, make eye contact, be friendly, have a good attitude, people want to help you. They really do. They want to help you. But if you have a bad attitude, bad attitudes make for hard life. So let's talk about some things you could have a bad attitude toward today. Number one, you can have a bad attitude toward your coworkers. Okay? And you can let their attitude affect you. Number two, you can have a bad attitude toward just a resentment toward your work. Like, man, I can't believe I got to go do this. Okay? I can't believe I got to go do this today. Okay? Number three, you can have a bad attitude toward selling. You're out there. You got to produce revenue. One of the things you got to do is you got you to sell something. You got to put some numbers on the board. You got to create revenue. You may have an attitude toward, toward, toward selling. Right, Derek? Number three, you may have a bad attitude toward follow-up. Say, man, I don't want to follow up. I don't want to engage. You may have a bad attitude toward engagement with your current clients. You may have a bad attitude just for the things you got to do today, man. Now, let me ask you a question. Do you think that a bad attitude is going to help you advance at all? Or do you think that bad attitude is going to put you in a worse position? See, many times these bad attitudes spiral. They spiral. It's like you got a bad attitude towards this, you got a bad attitude toward that. Okay? So, I had a trainer once named Rod Key. If you're out there watching, Rod, okay, good morning. If you had a bad attitude, I used to show up in the mornings and he would say, man, let's get our mind ready for what our body's about to do. And what he was basically saying is there's going to be things you got to do the next hour that you don't want to do. Okay, but if you want to be big time, you got to fight through your feelings because what you want is the feeling after the workout. The best part of workouts when it's over, folks, when it's over, the, the, the embrace the suck part is getting up and getting going and getting there. Right. That's when you have a bad attitude. Can't believe I got to get up. Can't believe I got to go do it. Should be. Can't believe I get to get up. Can't believe I get to go do it. Can't wait for the feeling I'm going to have when I'm finished today. When you study the prey drive and attitude, uh, what's interesting is it's not the the capturing of the prey that motivates the animal. It is the pursuit of the prey. Okay, so you're sitting around at night. You're thinking, man, I want to get in better shape. I got to I got to tighten up my abs. I got to look better. I got to lose about ten pounds. But man, I don't want to. Those are feelings. I want the feeling and the look, but I don't want the effort that it takes. I want the diet but I'll take the diet pill. I don't want the diet. So I want to encourage you today, man. It's Monday. We've got a new week. We've got probably two weeks left in September. The only person in control of your attitude is you, man. Your kids ain't in control of it. Your wife ain't in control of it. Your parents ain't in control of it. The media ain't in control of it. Your friends ain't in control of it. The only person who can control it today. And it is either ascending, you're going places. Plateaued, you're stuck in static. Or in tropic, man. You're going nowhere. Only you can make up your mind. So let's have a great day, folks. I've already made up my mind to go have a great day. I'm going to get into Nashville. we got big things happening. we got, uh, what have I got coming up, man? i got everything from Flip the Switch, boot camp coming up in a few weeks. I'm going to be in Dallas this week. I'm going to be in Denver this week. I'm going to be in Virginia Beach coming up. I'm going to be, and see me just thinking about all this, like, dang, that's a lot of places to be, man. I'm already tired thinking about it. But here's the deal. I'm going to have a good attitude about it, Timothy. Right? I'm going to have a good attitude. Because those people that pay, don't pay to see me have a bad attitude. That's for sure. They're paying to come get some of my attitude so they can take it home with them. Okay? So, I've got Dr. Kevin Elko coming up, folks. You don't want to miss him. October 20th, Nick Saban's coach at my lodge. Okay, we got all kinds of stuff. Go to CoachBurton.com. Click on events. Get a monster producer. Come see me. Okay, let's all have a good attitude today. God bless you.